Tinopona Tintin Katsande, a Zimbabwean actress, says she's almost done with her treatment for cervical cancer at a private hospital. She says the government hospitals had no working radiotherapy machines, so her family helped raise money for radiation therapy at a private hospital. Katsande says she has met other cancer patients who have not been so lucky. My peers that I have met in support groups, just last, when I penned that, I had lost six. I lost six women with such potential and with such vibe and with such power that had been taken down you know, through cervical cancer, particularly even, because treatment cannot be completed without the service of the radiotherapy. Jennifer Juliet Mugonda from Kadoma, a mining town about a two-hour drive southwest of Harare, has cancer too. She says doctors at a local government hospital asked her to stop going there and seek help at a private hospital about 400 kilometers away near Zimbabwe's border with Mozambique. She has not been treated for cancer for about three years now. She fears for the West. I am still surviving, but I know where I am going. Cancer kills. So I am finished. So what I know is my failure to get treatment is leading to my death. Zimbabwe's Minister of Health did not confirm or deny claims that government hospitals have no working radiotherapy machines and declined viewers' request for further comment. Katande is asking the country's wealthy citizens to help people like Mugwanda. Some way, somehow, we've got to come together to buy at least one radiotherapy machine. You cannot can holistically treat cancer without a full treatment. And one important part of it is the radiotherapy. Without the machine, that cannot be done. According to Zimbabwe's latest figures, the number of new cancer cases more than doubled to 7,800 from 2009 to 2019. The Zimbabwe Cancer Registry says about 85% of cancer patients delay treatment until it's too late. The cost of treatment is high, and also the knowledge among the population is very limited. Cancer knowledge is very limited, so a lot of people are likely to delay to be diagnosed of the disease. Meanwhile, Jennifer Juliet Mugonda is trying to raise money so that she can finally get the medication and treatment she needs at a distant private hospital. Columbus Mavungam for VOA News, Harare, Zimbabwe.